Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com. In this video I'll be running through my analog timer and clock gauge. This is an updated video from the previous one which didn't include the timer. Okay so let's get started with the buttons and dials. On this gauge we are using all of the buttons and the dials. So let's start with S1. Now S1 is the toggle between timer and the clock. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, S2 will set the time to your simulated time and S3 will set the time to your PC time. S4 will set the time to Greenwich Mean Time and S5 will set the time to local. Now there are multiple gauge designs um, for the clock faces and you rotate through these using the S6 button and I think there's five different designs at the moment and I will be adding some more in the future. Okay, so that covers the buttons. So the dials, the left dial has no function in the clock, but it does have a function in the timer and I'll cover the timer in a minute. The right dial is the nearest physical control to the blue LED, which means that's my menu control. So when you spin the right dial, the menu opens up. Now the right dial controls the menu um, that's selected, the menu item that's selected, and the left dial will change the function. So the first option in the menu is the version and the info. So if we use the left dial, we can toggle the info page on and off. The next option in the menu, using the right dial, is the side buttons. And using the left dial, we can toggle those on and off. There's a separate tutorial for labeling uh, and changing the labels, so please check that out. I won't cover that right now. So let's turn that off for now. Next option in the menu is the time source. So if you uh, turn the left dial, that will toggle between sim and PC time. Now this is just in case you wanted to reprogram some of the buttons to do other things. You can still access the functions through the menu. So the time source toggle it just goes to sim and PC. So the next option in the menu is the time zone and once again this just toggles between the GMT and the local just in case once again you wanted to reprogram S4 and S5 to do something else. Okay next option in the menu is the clock face so that's basically replicating what the S6 does and it rotates through the various different gauge functions using the uh, left dial. Next option in the menu is the second hand color. So you've got the option of five different colors for the second hand. So you can just change that with the left dial and you can change the color. I personally like the blue one actually. Okay, so the next option in the menu is the glass reflection. So this can be turned on and off using the left dial. Okay, so the next option in the menu is the background color. Now, like most of my GA gauges, you have four different background styles, and the original was a grey dial background, but I prefer the black dial background. The other option is you have a very much darker overall background, and you have no background at all, so it's just jet black. So I'll go back to my fave. Okay, so the next option is the brightness control. This changes the brightness of physical FIPS. Uh, use the left dial to make the change of the brightness. You won't see it change here because it doesn't actually affect the virtual FIPS that I'm videoing this from. So that's something that I'm adding to all of my gauges now as well. Okay, so let's turn the menu off using the right dial. Come right over and turn that off. And we'll go over to the timer function. Okay, so to activate the timer, we press S1. Now in the timer screen, you'll see that you have an analog timer as well as the digital display for the timer as well. So the S6 has now changed to a stop and start and a hold to reset. On a virtual fit, the hold to reset is actually a right click. The left dial is now the manual control for the timer. So if you wanted to fast forward it, you can use the left dial to change the timer. So we press S6 and the time will start to tick and you press S6 again and you can pause and press again and it will resume from where it left off and click again to pause and then you can do your halter reset or right click on FIP and it will reset the timer. 
You can use the left dial to fast forward the time. I'm going to set it forward five minutes and then I'm going to start the clock running. So you can manually control the uh, the start point of the timer if you want to. If you're five minutes into the flight, if you've got to start it, you can change it. Uh, you can also change it on the fly so you've got manual control of the time and you can just fast forward it. So we're going into an hour or so plus now. And you can rewind as well. Okay, so pressing S1 will take you back to the clock. And that pretty much covers the clock and timer. So I hope you found this useful. It's got a lot more functions than the previous video showed. So I hope you like the gauge as it stands today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Come back, check out some of our other videos. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.